morning everyone happy vlogmas day at number four i feel like all of these vlogmases have been really chill and cozy so sorry about that but also like join in in the cozy vibes or whatnot and weird because it's late i always get a little weird when it's late so i'm sorry but anyways we are going to be talking about my most anticipated books for 2024 i know we have a lot of good books coming out in 2024 so i'm definitely not going to mention all of them but the point of this video is just so i have a place where i can make sure i'm you know getting these books as the new year comes around so yeah if you want to hear what i am most excited for this year or this upcoming year then you can keep on watching i honestly just have a little sticky note and i just have some of the books i remembered like i said i'm definitely not going to have all of the books that i'm going to plan on reading in the new year but here are just a few of them i want to start out with ali hazelwood she has two new books coming this upcoming year the first one being the bride this one i believe comes out in february so it comes out pretty early in the year and it is basically it's her first novel that is well check and mate was the first novel that wasn't stem related but it's the first novel that is like a fantasy novel so it's called bride but it is about a vampire it might be about a vampire and a werewolf i'm kind of miss i'm not remembering right now but i definitely know that there's a vampire involved and i just think that sounds so interesting and i love her writing and so i know i'm probably going to enjoy it so i'm like why would i not look forward to that i still have like i said i still have not read check and mate um but i know it's fantastic so i'm very excited to read that one um but yeah so there's that she's also coming out with not in love in june of 2024 i'm pretty sure which is crazy that she's coming out with two books this year but this one goes back to her original like stem related um romance novels and i'm super excited for this the cover of it looks so good um i realize i'm gonna be putting covers over here so i'm gonna scoot over but yeah i am so excited for these i love again i love her writing um yeah both of those i protect will be like four to five stars so i'm very excited next book which is going to be a definite five stars i already know is funny story by emily henry we all know this is coming out this summer i am so excited for it um i'm actually kind of not remembering what it it's about i can't remember if it's I actually have no idea. Maybe I should look it up. Okay, I'm just gonna read the last sentence and say, and say, but it's all just for show, of course, because there's no way Daphne would actually start her new chapter by falling in love with her ex-fiance's new fiance's ex, right? So it's like their fiances were childhood best friends. They fall in love, and now they're the exes, and I think they fall in love. Which, yeah, that is a funny story. Okay. It actually sounds super good, so I'm excited for that one. Again, I think that one will be a five-star prediction. The next one is also, honestly, a five-star prediction, and that is House of Flame and Shadow by Sarah J. Moss, of course, coming right out February 1st. I already have this on pre-order. Don't you worry. Um, yeah, this is the third book, and I, like, I'm so scared. I'm nervous, especially how um, House of Sky and Breath ended. I, I'm, I'm terrified. But you know we're gonna love it we're gonna love it next one i'm really also excited all of these ones i'm really excited for but that is the prisoner's throne by holly black this is the second book um and the last book in the oh my gosh what was it even called the stolen air is that what it's called um this is kind of a spin-off or in the same universe of the cruel prince which i love that series so much i really just like holly black i haven't read anything other than the cruel prince and the stolen air like their that universe and i have heard some mixed reviews about the book of night but honestly i love it i'm sure i would love that so i'm definitely looking forward to it i know that the stolen air left on a crazy cliffhanger so i'm definitely interested in that especially after the hype that's been around it the fourth wing third book the imperin um that's not what it's called that's just the like universe or whatever the imperin the imperin imperian empyrean series so number three the book number three is predicted to come out in 2024 so i'm really excited for that as well i rated both fourth wing and iron flame four stars or no five stars i think uh i will say the second book wasn't as good as the first so maybe that one's a four star but i did really like it and i'm excited for that i just think will be really fun to read is sarah adams is coming out with the rule book and this is like the second book 
for the cheat sheet which i read it was i think it was like a three star but it was fun it was cute i also read win in rome and then um practice dating or whatever it was called i don't remember but i really like her writing it's very it's very chill um doesn't necessarily take a lot of brain power to be honest but that's why I enjoy it. And so when I saw the rule book was coming out, I honestly thought that looked really cute. And I'm looking forward to it. Then a random one that I saw on Goodreads recently was called The Fan or Fangirl Down by Tessa Bailey. I really enjoy Tessa Bailey. And this one seemed interesting. It's about golf, or there's a go the main character is a golfer. And I have a golfer dude in my life. Um, London, talking to you. But anyways. I just thought it looked cute. I'm excited for it. And then I think the last book that I can think of right now is the second book in the Powerless trilogy, which I believe is coming out this June. I'm going to pull it up really fast. It's called Reckless and it should be coming out July 4th. So I'm also really, really looking forward to that. I have not finished Powerless. I am only on chapter two, but I'm definitely planning on it. So yeah, honestly, all the books I wanted to talk about. I know this video is a little short, but I just wanted to get a video out for you guys. Talk about all the books that I'm expecting this year. And yeah, that's the end. Let me know if there's any books that I missed because I'm sure 100% there are books that I missed. I know that from from Blood and Ash series, the another book is coming out. I have yet to read the latest one, which I definitely need to do. So I know that's coming out, but I probably won't get around to it in 2024. So yeah, let me know and I'll definitely add them to my TBR. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye guys.